Yeah, everybody. Last lesson, we talked about how to read vernier caliper. And this lesson, we will see how to read micrometer screw gau. And in lesson of me measurement of length, we said that micrometer screw gau give more accurate result than vernier caliper. Vernier caliper gives result in centimeter. However, micrometer screw gau give result in millimeter. We are going to see. Let us uh, understand what micrometer screw gau is. Here, there's a frame and Anvil and spindle is connected to frame and spindle is movable one. So how do we move spindle? We can rotate wrench here and spindle goes forward or back. So according to movement of spindle, we can read sleeve and the thimble. How can we read micrometer screw gauk? Let us see. To read micrometer screw gauk, we will read and record on reading on sleeve scale. And sleeve scale gives result in millimeters. This is important. Then we are going to read and record reading on timber scale. But timber scale is going to give result is 1 out of 100 millimeter. As a result, we get uh, the sum of the two reading, which is sleeve scale and the timber scale. And we are going to get total reading. So we can make some more example to see how to read micrometer screw gauge. As you remember, here is sleeve scale, here is thimble scale. And we are going to read sleeve scale first. Then we are going to read thimble scale. Let us read sleeve scale. Here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Here is 6. So, timber scale, uh, sleeve scale reads 6 mm. And let us look at the timber scale. Timber scale here is 65, 66, 67, and 68. As you remember, timber scale must be 1 out of 100 mm means 0 0.86 millimeter. Total reading on figure is 6.68 millimeter. Let us look at the second figure and we are going to get again sleeve scale and we are going to get thimble scale again. Sleeve scale here start with 4, 5, 6 and 7. So the sleeve scale read 7 millimeter. Let us look at the thimble scale. 45, 46 and 47 match with sleeve scale. So that thimble scale read 0 0.47 millimeter. Total reading on micrometer screw gauge is 0 0.47 millimeter. Let us look at figure 3. Again, we are going to see sleeve scale and the thimble scale. Here is 8 and here is 9 and this shows 9.5. Sleeve scale shows 9.5 millimeter. Let us look at the thimble scale. 25 is here and matching side is 24. So the thimble scale read 0.24 millimeter and total reading is 9.74 millimeter. As you see, reading on uh, micrometer scrub gauge is easier than reading on vernier caliper. We continue with more uh, example. Here is 0, here is 1, here is 2 and 2.5. So in sleeve scale we read 2.5 millimeter. What is reading on thimble scale? Here is 40, here is 39, and here is 38. 38 on thimble scale match with sleeve scale, so that reading on thimble scale must be 30, 0 0.38 millimeter. To total reading equal to 2.88 millimeter. 
let us look at uh, another figure again we are going to see sleeve scale and the timber scale sleeve scale as you see start after 5 mm and timber scale match width as you see 20 directly so that 0.20 mm on timber scale so total reading on vernier caliper is 5.2 mm and we have last two example again we are going to read sleeve scale first it uh, 5 5.5 and 6 so the sleeve scale read 6 mm let us look at the timber scale as you see in timber scale directly reads 0 so that Timber scale read 0, 0.0 millimeter. Total reading is 6 millimeter. And the last uh, figure start with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that sleeve scale read 4 millimeter. And we see timber scale. Timber scale is 40 and the matching side is 39 0.39 millimeter is read on timber scale so total reading must be 4.39 millimeter so thank you for watching us we will continue to uh, measurement next topic is how to measure area